Jesus Christ. For today's re reflection, we have chosen the theme. Rather, we have asked the question, which of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is more important or most valuable one, the best one? In the meantime, some of us would ask the question, now since the Holy Spirit has come into our lives, should we pray to the Holy Spirit or to Jesus or to God the Father? To whom should we pray? Who, to whom should we address our prayers? These are little things, simple questions, yet these can trouble in our minds. Let's clarify them one by one. Dear friends, Father, Son and Spirit, they are one. We know that. And when you pray to the Father, God the Father, He sends the same Spirit, His Spirit. When you pray to Jesus, when we say, Jesus, listen to me, His Spirit comes into us. His Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes to us. When you pray, asking for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the same Spirit comes. Therefore, when we pray, whether we pray to the Father or to the Son or to the Holy Spirit, we get the same Holy Spirit. It's one God and one Spirit. Therefore, we don't have to worry about this word, which word to be used, the Father, Son or the Spirit. You can be feel free. If you're more comfortable in saying, Father, just do it. Or if you are so comfortable in saying Jesus always, say Jesus. You are praying to the Holy Spirit. You are asking for the Spirit. One thing is definite, that Spirit comes to us from the Father. The Spirit is sent to us by Jesus. It's said in the Gospel today, the Advocate or the Holy Spirit comes from, comes whom I will send. Jesus says, I will send you from the Father. The Spirit of truth that proceeds from the Father. Therefore, we need to be very clear about this. We don't, should not have any complications. And we don't have to ask any more this question whether we should pray to the Father to, or to the Son or to the Holy Spirit. And the other one, which is the most important, the best gift of the Holy Spirit. Dear friends, just as Father, Son and Spirit are one, all these seven gifts of the Holy Spirit are also one. You can't differentiate them and take one or pick one and leave the other. They all come as a package. We need at times the courage Sometimes we need more piety. Sometimes we need right judgment. And most of the time we need wisdom. Still, when you ask for wisdom, all the other six gifts of the Holy Spirit also would follow. And the Holy Spirit comes with all seven gifts. But, my dear friends, at times we need one of them most. Just as we heard in the Gospel, the second reading today, St. Paul writes, we are one body, though we are different parts. We may belong to different nationalities, different countries, different communities, different families. We may have different gifts, yet we are one body and just Jesus is the head, we are different parts of the same body. Just like example of the parable of the true wine. We are connected. And when someone works hard, the others support, someone takes the leadership in our projects. It doesn't mean that it is his project. It's our project, church project. And others support in their own way. Just like when we want to go for a walk, our legs will take us to the place that we want to go. 
it doesn't mean that we leave behind our hands and go hands also will come with us whole body will walk but legs will take the leadership when we want to do something with our hands yes the hands are active it doesn't mean that we don't use our legs at that moment legs are important they are connected you can't separate them it hurts the same manner sometimes we need wisdom and at this time we need courage more than any other time to face this pandemic and we need knowledge we need to know what it is and dear friends we need to make the right judgment at this time especially when we have lost many things in our lives we need to know what exactly we should be doing in this difficult time that right judgment is very important and we should not lose our faith we need to build up our faith this time so we need piety from our beloved holy spirit and that fear of god this fear is not kind of a servile fear we are not the kind of servants of this sort of fear of punishment this is the fear of that filial fear kind of love that we have for our fathers or parents or the the love that i the one whom i love most i have sometimes the kind of a little fear that i would lose that person if i don't do the the right thing that kind of beautiful awe in us is called the fear of god that brings sort of respect and love and we are connected to a god through this dear friends we need this fear of god this time not to be afraid of the pandemic not to be afraid of anything in this world and dear friends courage leads us to proclaim the good news when we talk to someone about jesus most of us are a little shy we don't want to you know talk about jesus in public we think that's the duty of the priests and nuns and the church leaders let them do it i am not going to talk about it even about my own personal faith experiences miracles have happened in my life i'm a little shy there you need the courage more than other gifts of the holy spirit but the holy spirit will come and give you the right word to speak just say a small prayer to the spirit to come into your lives you have it and you will proclaim that jesus is the truth so dear friends during this time if you think that i have my courage i'm not afraid of this pandemic i'm going out and i don't care about this uh, travel restrictions i can move around and uh, face this pandemic and go without a face mask either that i don't think come from the holy spirit that falls under the category of foolishness because you cannot have courage and lose wisdom and knowledge that doesn't come from holy spirit therefore we need to be very careful when we act it's very simple what we need to do is to pray to the holy spirit pray to god the father pray to jesus asking for the guidance of the spirit of god so that we'll have the full package all seven gifts of the spirit and we make the right decision we know what to do because we have wisdom and we have that fear of god so we worship him as these insights have come from him we won't be too proud because we know things or we have wisdom and we have the fear of god and piety to bow our heads before god and say is all because of him and for from him so dear friends what we need today is to understand this guidance of the spirit and pray more than ever to the holy spirit amen